Good afternoon, everybody. So, good evening, everybody. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you? So I'm good. 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 Good about you. Excellent, excellent. All right. So today I am giving, I'm, I've had an inconvenience. Um, so I am going to be giving you the class from a different place that I normally do. Okay, but I'm here with you. That's the important thing. Okay, so I we're going to be having our class. Um, this is the fifteenth class, right? So we have today and tomorrow to um finish up our class. So what we're going to do right now um is we're going to be taking the attendance. So just give me a moment. Um, you know what I, you know what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to be, uh, there's not very many connected right now. So what I'll do is, uh, we'll start with the class and I will take attendance within a few minutes. Okay. All right, teacher. Sounds right. good. Perfect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start first of all with these um with these um uh, community meeting notes. Do you have any idea what these are? Community meeting notes. Have you ever heard of these before? No? So basically what it is, is when um, people think that there should be laws in the community, they get together and make like a community. Um, they, they create like a, a committee and they decide on what uh, rules there should be in that community. Okay, so not they're not like laws really, but um, they are like rules that that people um, decide to um, that it's a good idea to pass a, in the community. Does that make sense? Hi. Can you guys hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Just want to make sure. Okay. okay. All right. So, um, so uh, for example, the first one says cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Um, do we understand that? Um, that uh, proposal, let's say. Does that make sense? Yeah, cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Do we understand what is a required and helmet? Do we understand that? Yes, I do. Any questions? No questions. Okay. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. 
Do we understand this one? Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. Do we understand? Do we understand what is a leash? <clears throat> yes, teacher, I do. What, what is a leash? Let's talk about that first. It's uh, the, the one that is, uh, the dog is tying around the neck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So it's the, it's the, um, it, it's like, let's say the rope, let's say that. Like a, um, <laughs> sorry? Like a necklace. <laughs> But yeah. long. right, like a necklace, but it, that is around um, that, yeah, that you put around a dog or a cat uh, to be able to walk them so that they um, are not, um, so that they are not a, running away, let's say. Okay. So pet owners, uh, sh pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk the dogs without a leash. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, next one says people ought to be required to end parties at midnight. So, uh, do we understand required to end parties? I just have one question. What is old? Okay. It's like a odd to is the same as should. Should. Okay. It's, it's the same idea. It's like it's, it's, it's a model auxiliary that um, shows advice. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Next one says something has got to be done to stop littering. Um, do we understand the word littering? Yes. 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 What it's is, like what? trash. Um, it's, it's like um, when people left trash all over the, a place. Exactly. Yes, correct. It's when people uh, leave trash, when like garbage. Let's say it's it's like garbage uh, that people throw um, on the floor. They don't pick it up. They don't put it in the in the garbage can where it's supposed to go. Okay, that's littering. Or like when you well, I I I hope things have become better in El Salvador. But sometimes people you will see people that are um, throwing even. Um, like even like a water bottle outside from a from a bus, you know that's litter. Okay, so just throwing garbage on the street or or putting it where it doesn't belong, it should belong in the in the trash can. Okay. Next says people mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. So we understand motorcycles, right? Do we understand sidewalks? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Sidewalk is the part where you when you can walk next to the street. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, yeah. It's, and it's, then. Mm -hmm. So you were gonna say something, Brindy? No, teacher, solo se puede poner en mute a todos porque se escucha como algo al fondo. Ah, yo creo que ven, quiero ver, déjenme, déjenme confirmar. Eh, sí, todos ahorita están en mute. Lo que sucede, Brendy, es de que um, yo estoy teniendo un inconveniente, entonces está oyendo el, 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 um, el sonido de, de ese mi, mi lado. Pero, ¿me escuchan bien? Un poco o, o si sí me logran escuchar. Yo le escucho a ti. Okay. Yo también. Sí, okay. se escucha y se entiende. Solo yo pensaba que era alguien más. Lo siento. Ah, okay. No, no está bien. No hay problema, Brenda. Sí, um, eh, de hecho, o sea, de hecho, eh, 
por eso también um, he tenido que eh, he parado en la cámara para ver si tal vez eso ayuda para el sonido. Vamos a ver. Um, okay. No, no ayuda. No, nada. <laughs> ok, bueno. Ok, um, so anyway, um, let's go on to the next part. Um, so, where were we? Um, ah, yes, so we were talking about sidewalks. Sidewalks is the part where um, the pedestrians walk next to the street. So the pedestrian, pedestrians are do not confuse pedestrians with pedophile, okay, because they're not the same thing. So pedestrians are people that walk in the streets. Everybody is a pedestrian, okay? So if you are walking on the street um, or outside, you are a pedestrian, and you walk on sidewalks. You do not walk in the street because if you walk in the street, you will get hit by a car. Okay. All right. Uh, Nick says, laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. Yeah. Okay, so we understand car alarms, right? We understand everybody, car alarms? Yes, teacher, I understand. Yes. Okay, perfect. Next one says, drivers should only be permitted to honk their horn in case of an emergency. Uh, do we understand the word honk? No, teacher. Excuse. What is honk? Okay, good question. So honk means it's a sound that uh, you make when you press the horn of your car. Okay. Oh yeah, got so, it. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's 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 the action of pressing the horn. Okay. So when you you know um your car when you have problems you go right. So that is called um it, that that part that that thing that makes the noise is called the horn. When you press that horn, it's called it's the verb is to talk. Okay, so you can say, for example, stop honking at me. Stop honking at me means um, stop pressing the, the horn. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, teacher, I understand now. Uh, I forgot this name, this word. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, that's why I'm here for it. All right, so. Everybody understand this? Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? What is the sided fork? Sorry, could you repeat that question, Lydia? The sided fork. No, I don't understand your question. Sidewalk. Oh, sidewalk. sidewalk. What is sidewalk? Yeah. And okay. then okay. So sidewalks is the beside the street. It's um the place that is elevated so that people can walk next to the street. And it's a little bit more elevated than the street where the cars are. Okay, I know that in El Salvador, you know, not many uh, streets have sidewalks. I, I think that's the problem. <laughs> that in, in El Salvador, you, the sidewalks are almost non-existent. Okay, so do we understand okay. si sidewalks in Spanish? What is sidewalk? And then... It's la calzada. La calzada o el hombro de la calle. ¿Acera? La acera. No, la es cera. la calzada. La calzada. Calzada o el hombro de la calle, le dicen. Oh, my goodness. Wow, those are new. That's new vocabulary for me. I've, I've never heard that. <laughs> it's like a, something legal. It's like a, a one 
is like uh, some, yeah, some something legal. Oh, okay, for me, okay. it's like a acera, acera or what they is. So I I guess like commonly we know it as acera, but I guess um more the more uh proper term would be what was that? Could you repeat that word? Calzada. Calzada? Oh, alzada. Oh, Alzada Cal or calzada? Calzada, say. Calza. Calzada. Oh, all right. Interesting. All right. So, yeah. Okay. So, I guess the proper term would be calzada. That's actually new for me. See, I, that's why I always say uh, we all learn together. Like, um, what about know. footbridge? Um, the footbridge would be what we call in Spanish, or at least in El Salvador, pasarela. Right. Um. That's a footbridge. Um. So it's it's um. Yeah. It, it's just it's just for pedestrians, but to cross over, uh, usually a highway or a very a, a very um crowded street, like very um. Yeah, a, a very crowded street. I suppose that that would be a footbridge. <laughs> Okay. All right. So is this vocabulary clear for you, everybody? Yo no fui. Yeah? No, yo no fui, yo no fui. Okay. Yo pasando ahí, Okay. All right. So what we're, so guys, what we're going to do right now is we're going to... How do you say yo pasando ahí, teacher? Oh, my. Um, well, literally speaking, you just say, I was just passing by. But the, uh, yes, the was so but the connotation, the connotation of Yo um, Pasando Iba, which is more like, um, it just, it means more like uh, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't involved, right? I I, I was not in, in like, yeah, when, when you say yo pasando iba, it significa, o sea, yo no tengo nada que ver con, con, con ese problema, ¿verdad? So it'd be like, um, something like, um, uh, I don't, I don't think we have an idiom, actually, for that. Um, <laughs> an actual idiom? No. Oh, I would, I would just simply say, um. Yeah, I was passing by, I think it's okay. Yeah, I was passing by. I was just passing by. Um, uh, I'm not involved or something, but I, I'm not, not yeah. involved. Okay. Yeah, I'm not involved. That's uh, I'm not guilty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, um, let, what we'll do right now is I'm going to um copy this uh, um and send it to you in the WhatsApp. And I want you to discuss in your groups, do you strongly agree? Do you somewhat agree? Or do you disagree with these proposals? Okay? Okay. Do we All understand? Right. Yes, teacher. Okay. Just give yeah, me a moment. I got it. Perfect. Just give me a moment while I send it to you in the WhatsApp group. Just give me a second because, oh, you know what? It's it's going to take a little bit of a while. I just realized down to open the WhatsApp web. So what I'll do is I will send you guys to the breakout room and while we're waiting for that, uh, for the, um, the WhatsApp web to, um, to start. And, um, and when you guys get to the groups, because it always takes a little bit of time as well to for everybody to get. You can groups. send you can send here to to on WhatsApp. 
uh, sorry, oh, in, to, chat. You mean in the chat. Soon, I can. Okay, we can. We can yeah. took a, a screenshot, yeah. maybe. Yeah, I, I could I could do that. Um, the pro the only problem with that is that it, it sometimes it erases quickly. So it, you're going to have to take the screenshot quite quickly. But I can do that. Just give me a moment. I'll, I'm going to try that. Okay, I'm sending it right now. Tell me if you guys get it. it I sent it in the chat oh, in, in Zoom. Did yes. you get it? Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, yes, so, teacher. Uh, so everybody can open the document um, on Zoom because it's taking me a while to open up okay, my WhatsApp. I would when? try to send here you know, on WhatsApp. Oh, teacher. wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Brandy. Okay, but, so uh, let me. Is it possible? Yes, again. Yeah, yeah, it's yours. Okay. Great. Thank you very much, Brandy. Okay, so I will send you guys to the breakout room. Then, and okay. um, you guys can start um, discussing. Okay, so just a moment. All right, here we go. Let's open the rooms. Yeah, strongly agree. Mm -hmm. They should be required. Okay, uh, I'm agree with it. I'm a, a strong and agree, agree because you know if uh, people uh uh use uh, a helmet, right? Uh, people can uh, care more uh about herself okay but <clears throat> true okay pet oh. owners shouldn't be allowed to walk a uh, dog without a leash Okay, pet. Um, uh, I, I'm disagree with it. Um, yes, yes, uh, I'm disagree. Uh, in my case, I, I think that uh, I am disagree with it, with it because, uh, uh, how do you say? Because if you if you are if you have two two dogs right uh, with a leash is really dangerous for uh for the most uh, person right uh mm -hmm. because because you know people suddenly can be aggressive mm. but why you disagree uh, I'm disagreeing with number two because oh. uh, 
ya, ya. But... Okay. No, And no, no. what about you? I agree with this one because uh, I mean it's not about your pet, maybe it's someone else, but uh I have seen many cases that they uh walk without a leash and they like I don't know how to say bite uh yeah. she uh uh guys or or any any people uh but I I have seen that before so I agree with this because it doesn't matter if you I don't know how to say uh like uh educar or uh, educar al perro uh, la mascota I don't know how to 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 say that but it doesn't matter how how you do that train but uh it's like a how do you say train train yes train 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 to train your okay 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 so it doesn't matter if you train your pet but it's it's like an instinct how do you say teacher instinct instinct So it doesn't matter how you train your pet, but it's uh, like an instinct to to react to some uh, actions. So I agree with this because uh, to take care of others. Yeah, uh, at the end, I will. I am. Um, I agree with your point. You have a reason. Okay, Irma. Okay. Yeah. It is very dangerous for the child in the strip. Hello. Somebody is working here on this group. No, this is the main room, Brandy. I'm bringing everybody back. Ah, okay. Okay, guys and girls. Um, so, um, what we're going to do right now, now that it, most people are here, I'm going to be taking attendance, okay? So, okay. Um, let me start. Encienda um, okay. las right, cámaras para que sea más, más rápido, gente. Sí, eh, les, les pido de favor que puedan encender las cámaras eh, para aquellos que no estuvieran al principio de la clase, les decía de que, um, de que no, no iba a tomar asistencia al principio porque todavía no se habían conectado muchos, pero que hoy sí eh, ya podemos tomar la asistencia. Y les comento de que, como ustedes ven, no estoy en el lugar usual donde les doy la clase porque he tenido un inconveniente, pero que aquí estoy con ustedes y por eso es que también eh, pues de vez en cuando tengo que apagar la cámara porque hasta por el, la cuestión del que tal vez mejora el sonido por, por los datos. Ok, entonces eh, ahorita vamos a pasar asistencia. Um, ok, so here we go. Give me a moment. Okay, here we go. Andrea Geraldine Sanchez uh, Recinos. Present teacher. Thank you. Angel Antonio Ramirez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Brandy Marilu Pimentel Colcha. Present. Thank you. Edgar Abel Tejada Benítez. Edgar Abel. 
que son Sammy Hernández Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. Eh, Eduardo José Melgar Melgar. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Uh, Ileana Janet Alvarado Molina. Present teacher. Janet. Perfect, thank you. Um, Irma Raquel García de Monterrosa. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jaime Roberto Aldana Beltrán. Present miss. Thank you. Uh, Joana Yesenia García de, er de Hernández. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Marina Stephanie Arevalo Sanchez. I'm here. Where? I'm here. Ah, okay. Thank you. Eh, hágame un favor. Uh, can you change your name so that uh, so that we can have your full name? Yes, teacher. My Thank name is. Okay. Uh, Nidia Esmeralda Marroquín Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Reina Elizabeth Guerrero Gaitán. El micrófono, Reina. Es que tiene que tiene que quitarle, tiene que accionarlo. Ah, no tiene audio. Oh, ok. Ok, es que aparece como que está apagado, no es que como que no tiene audio, sino que solo que está apagado. Ok, no problem. Eh, Roberto Eduardo Escamilla García. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Saúl Antonio Hernández Torres. Present teacher. Here. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Abrego Blanco. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And Vanessa Esmeralda Miranda Alfaro. Thank you. And Jancy Andrea Melendez Mayen. Present. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, thank you for your attendance. All right. So, um, so what we're going to do is um, take a look at what we were talking about in just earlier. So, independent of if you agree with or not with these um, with these proposals, what is important about these proposals is that if they are talking about something that you think is a good, it's a it's a it's a good um, idea. Let's say it's a good idea, something that you believe that is um, that is important to do, okay? Now, when we're talking about something that we think is important to do, okay, we use the word should, okay? So let me show you here. So if you notice, I, I just wanna, I just wanna highlight, okay? Just wanna highlight these ideas here. Uh, second. So we have should, okay, or in the negative shouldn't. Also, we use the modal auxiliary of to, okay, or has got to, or mustn't. We do that. Must I, sorry, guys. I think you got it. Okay, so we have mustn't, okay, which is another modal of sorry, or must. Another model of three or should. 
Okay, so these are modal auxiliaries that tell um, somebody that um, that you think this is your opinion. This is what you think is a good idea or in some cases a bad idea. Now, I also want you to notice that we're using, in all of them, we're using B. B, 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 and B. But not only B, we're also using, we're also using the past participle required, allowed, okay? Uh, required, done, permitted, passed, permitted, okay? So now that you see that, can you tell me what structure this is? What is the name of the structure? Who remembers? We've already seen this before. What is the structure? This one right here. For, forget about the, the model. Past, past perfect. Sorry? Past participle. It, the, these ones, the one in green, are past participles. Yes, you're right. But the whole thing. Yes, past, I remember. Past participles. It, it was like... Uh, model verb, verbs in the past. Uh -huh. What is the name of the structure? What is the name? Who remembers? We've seen this before. Who remembers? It's not past perfect. A, sorry, could you repeat that, Brendan? It's not past perfect. Not past perfect, no. no. It's, a past passive. it's the passive, exactly. Passive. It's the passive. Remember, the verb to be plus the past participle makes the passive voice. Do you remember that we talked about before um, that the passive voice can be used uh, for um to talk about procedures right now we're going to learn today that we can also use the passive voice plus other modal auxiliaries like should shouldn't ought to has to got has got to must mustn't um to talk about opinions okay or so let me show you what i mean Okay, so when you think something is a good idea or it's a bad idea to do something also, like it's that this is your opinion, basically, right? Um, you or an opinion or a recommendation. We use should. Okay, we use the word should or in the next, right? Really. So we use um, should um, or shouldn't. Okay, so for example, cyclists should be required to wear a helmet or pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. So in other words, do you think this is a good idea? And you think that it's a bad idea to do this. Okay, so this one's that's this one's a good idea, that's why it's affirmative. And this one you think it's a bad idea to do this, that's why it's negative. Okay. Now over here we we have ought to. Okay, we can also use ought to. Ought to is the same idea as should, okay? So um, it's like, uh, ought to is, is the same, it's 
it, we can use it interchangeably. It's just that ought to is a little more formal than should. Okay, so should is a tiny bit more formal, and but it, it, it means the same thing, okay? And after that, we're gonna be using the verb to be. Now, remember what I've told you before. After a modal auxiliary, the rule is that 100% of the time, you have to, have to, have to, have to put the verb in the base form. That's why we're going to use be. We're not going to use are, is, am, was, were, being, anything else. We're not going to use that. We're going to use be because it's the base form. Okay. And after that, after that, we are going to be using. The past participle. Okay. Oops. Now, why do we use this structure? We use this structure because what we're saying is that we believe that, oh, or better said, we're putting emphasis on the people that have that the rule applies to. We're not putting emphasis on who makes the rule, who or who who implements the rules, or who um, who makes sure that they that they happen. We're putting emphasis on the people that need to comply with the rule. So, for example, the first one: cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. It, I, we're, I'm, I, I'm not concentrating on who is the one that requires. And I am concentrating myself on the cyclists because they are the ones that need to comply with it. Okay? So if I say in Spanish, or what is it? If I say cyclists should be required to wear a helmet, how would you say that in Spanish? Um, debería ser un requerimiento usar un, un este, casco para los motociclistas para los ciclistas. Debería exigirse. Okay, the idea is there. Yes. But we need to start with we're talking about cyclists. So the idea is starting with cyclists. Se debe exigir a los ciclistas que usen un casco. Debería estar usando un casco. No, sí. Okay. So, how do you say cyclist in Spanish? Ciclistas. Okay, so let's start with los ciclistas. Los ciclistas deberían utilizar a casco. Okay, but but we're, we're not using the verb uh, use or we're using the required. Debería ser requerido usar casco con los ciclistas. Okay, it would be something like um, debería ser requerido de los ciclistas que utilicen un casco. But this is the make sense. This is, I don't know. So, sorry, could you repeat that? I, I say it's like uh, you say that you have to start with side twists, but it makes more sense. It's like it make more sense. It's like I would say it should be required. Well, in Spanish, it's like it should be required, and then to say to the cyclists, to the cyclists, it should be required to use a cast. In Spanish, it sounds that way. It should be required to use a cast. Yeah, so obviously in Spanish, the rules are different because it's a different language, right? So we're obviously not going to um, start, <clears throat> we're not going to start a sentence in, in Spanish the way we started in English. 
So in Spanish, but the idea is, is more like, debería ser requerido de los ciclistas, o, o debería, um, yeah, debería ser un requisito para, requisito. Los, ciclistas. para los, los ciclistas. Yeah. Okay, so the idea is, the idea is that we're not really saying who requires it. In Spanish, when you say debería ser eh, un requisito, pero quién, quién hace ese requisito? No nos importa, no nos importa quién hace ese requisito. Lo que importa es que ese requisito está para los ciclistas. Eso es lo importa. So the same thing in English. We are concentrating on the cyclists. Uh, the cyclists need to uh, comply with that requirement. That's what's in here. Does that make sense? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, good. The same thing with the other ones. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. How would you say that in Spanish? Los dueños de mascotas no se les debería permitir caminar con sus perros sin correr. Sorry, can you repeat that again? Eh, los dueños de los de las mascotas no deberían ser, no se les debería permitir eh, caminar con sus perros sin correr. Yeah, que no deben pasear a sus perros. Muy bien. A los, um, a los no se de, de, debe permitir que los dueños de mascotas saquen a pasear a sus animalitos sin correr. Ajá, uh -huh. or, yeah, yeah, basically that, that works. The idea though is, yeah, whichever one is, is fine. Um, the idea here though is that we're not really concentrating on who requires it. Mm -hmm. who is saying that it's that it's not allowed we're concentrating on um on the people that need to comply with the teacher rules. sorry hello yeah could you read the message on the zoom yes yes uh thank you Sandy. thank you okay so um does that make sense for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, it's like a when when we translate on Spanish, it's like a, we don't care the first uh, if it is uh, cyclists or people or somebody. It's like a, we which is in the second part that like, should be allow or should be a require or should be something uh, out to be. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, just a sec. Just give me a second, guys. Don't worry. All right, so here, um, here we have the word must. Um, and must, it can be used now to talk about when you think that something is absolutely necessary. Okay. Um, so we use, for example, um, so we say the laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. Okay, or the people mustn't uh, be permitted 
to mark to park motorcycles on the sidewalk. Okay, so here we're th we're saying that it's not just that you think it's a good idea. Okay, you're, what you're saying is that um, you think that it's it's a it's a very important or absolutely necessary thing. Okay, um, and here here we have a rule has to be made to require cyc cycling lanes on city streets. Okay, so the same thing. A has to is also used like must. But it's a little bit, it sounds a, less, a little bit less formal. This one sounds more like official. Must and mustn't sounds a little more official. It sounds more like a law. Whereas has to, um, has to is more general, let's say. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, teacher. Yeah. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Uh, all right. Very good. Um, the other one, oh, the other one is has got to. Has got to. Um, it's the same thing as has to. It's a little more informal, um, but it, it can be used the same. It's informal. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. Why we use God in, in that? Um, sorry, could you repeat the question? Uh, why is necessary uh, God after has? Oh, okay. So it's not necessary. You can use just simply has to. Okay. Um, it is possible. Okay. But another possibility, okay. Another possibility is um, to use um, has got to. And this just makes it a little more informal. That's all it is. It, but it's not, you can use both. Like it's not, it's not necessary to use has got, has got to. Does that make sense? Yeah, thank you. Yeah? Okay. Any questions at this moment? Not the two. Okay. Thank you. We're all good. All right. Very, very good. Um, okay. Now the same the same rule applies with, with um must, must and has to or has got to. We're going to be using um We're going to be using B. Okay. And we're going to be using the past participle. Okay. Um, okay. So this is the same thing. We're gonna be using um, the passive voice, okay? So this is a, the passive voice. Um, sorry. This is also the passive voice. So we're using the B passive past participle, all of them. RB plus past participle. Okay. That's how it's always going to work. Do you have any questions about the modal auxiliaries? Because basically the passive voice is going to stay the same. It doesn't change. If you notice, all of them is B plus past participle. That's how you make the passive voice. The only thing that changes here is the modal auxiliary. 
So do you have any questions? No, teacher, I'll go. No. Are you sure? Yes, teacher, I'm fine. Excuse yeah. me, teacher, I have a question. Yeah. No. Uh, can we use uh, other type of modal verbs in this type of structure? Structure. Sir, could you can you repeat Sorry. the question? If uh, can can we use can could we use other type of modal verbs? Oh, other or you, or, other or, kind of modal. Other verbs. kind, other kind. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you can use other modal verbs. But if you want to talk about something that you think that is a good idea, okay? So if you're we're talking about um, recommendations. Okay, when we're talking about recommendations. And we're talking about opinions. Then you have to use these. That's the only one. Those these are the only ones that are possible. Does that make sense? Great. Thank you. Yes. You too. Okay. All right. Any other questions that you guys have? No? It's all clear? No, no question, teacher. Okay, perfect. In that case, what we're going to do is we're going to be working on uh, the exercises. Um, I think my, my WhatsApp should be working by now. So, uh, oops, sorry. Let's give me a moment. Okay, so here it says, complete the sentence positively or negatively. Choose a modal that shows how strongly you feel about these issues. So for this, obviously, um, because it's your own ideas, you're not, there's not gonna be like one, um, only one possibility, right? Because if you think that it's just a good idea, you're gonna be using should or ought to. But if you think that it's absolutely necessary, you're going to be using must, mustn't, um, have to, or has, have got to. So it, it's going to depend on your idea, okay? So right now I'm going to give you a chance to, um, to what's it called? Um, to do it on your own, okay? And then... Uh, and then we'll check it all together.
Am finish. Everybody's finished? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. All right, because it's already time, what we'll do is we'll check these answers tomorrow, or not check, but we'll, com we'll compare your answers with the other um, classmates tomorrow, okay? Um, I will still send you guys this in the group, just in case some people are not finished. And I just wanna make sure that you are finished this exercise before tomorrow, okay? So that everybody can check this at the beginning of the class. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Great teacher. So that's yeah. it, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember, this tomorrow is the last day of class, so please uh, make sure that you connect. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Tomorrow. 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 T